We want our AI models to make right decisions and one powerful approach to achieve this is through reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a subfield of machine learning that involves training an agent to make right decisions by selecting actions from its action space within a specific environment with the goal of maximizing cumulative rewards over time. Reinforcement learning compromises four fundamental elements agent, environment, action and rewards. Agent of a pseudo program that is being trained with the objective of performing a specified task. Environment is a world, whether real or virtual, where the agent carries out its actions. An action is a move executed by the agent that induces a change in the environment state. Rewards are evaluations of the agent's action which can be positive or negative. The initial step in modeling a reinforcement learning task involves precisely defining these four elements as outlined above. One each element is clearly defined, you are prepared to map your specified task onto this framework. In this context of determining the placement of ads on a web page using reinforcement learning. First, the agent observes the environment capturing its current status which includes information such as existing number of ads on the web page and whether there is available space for additional ads. The action space for the agent is defined by the three possible actions. Adding an ad to the page, removing an existing ad from the page, maintaining the current state without adding or removing any ad. The reward system is established to be positive when there is an increase in revenue and negative when there is a drop in the revenue. The agent equipped with this information must decide which action to take at each step based on its observation and the desired outcome of maximizing revenue. By programming the agent to receive positive rewards for actions leading to revenue increase and negative rewards for those causing revenue decrease, it can learn and develop an effective policy for optimizing ad placement on the web page over time. This iterative process enables the agent to adapt and refine its decision-making strategy to achieve the goal of maximizing overall revenue. So, what's the difference between supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning? The objective of supervised and unsupervised learning are to explore and comprehend patterns within the specific training data. In contrast, reinforcement learning is centered around crafting a policy that guides an agent in choosing actions at each step and deducing a dynamic aspect. In supervised learning, the correct answers are provided by the training data. In reinforcement learning, however, the correct answer isn't explicitly given. Instead, the agent learns through trial and error. It's only reference in the report received after taking an action indicating progress or failure. And reinforcement learning agent must strike and balance between exploring the environment for new reward opportunities and exploiting known reward sources. In contrast, supervised and unsupervised learning system directly derive answers from training data without the need for exploration. Reinforcement learning is a multi-decision process forming a decision-making chain over time to complete a specific task. Conversely, supervised learning is a single decision process making one prediction per instance. Alright, let's dive into OpenAI Gym. OpenAI Gym stands as a toolkit designed for the development and comparison of reinforcement learning algorithms. It facilitates the training of agents across a spectrum of activities ranging from basic tasks like walking to engaging in a game such as Pong or Pinball. Within OpenAI Gym, game environments are provided where our programs or agents can execute actions. Each environment has an initial state. Following the agent's action, the state is then updated. When your agent observes a change, it utilizes a new status along with its policy to determine the next move. The policy is a crucial element for your program to maintain functionality, as the quality of the policy directly influences the agent's performance. Let's explore a demo of the game Codepool from OpenAI. Here, the second line creates a Codepool environment, the third line initializes the status parameters, and the fifth line visualizes the game. On the sixth line, an action is prompted using a random policy, and in the seventh line, it executes the action, and the environment provides four returns, observation, reward, done, and info. Observation includes the parameter of the game status, different game returns different parameters. In court poll, there are four in total. The second parameter is the angle of the poll. And in the reward, the score you get after taking this action. And in the done, it will return whether the game is over or not. And in the info, the extra debug information is included, it could be cheating. It's worth noting that the policy on the sixth line indicates the agent may take random action from its action space. The policy can be programmed in any way you prefer, whether it's based on if-else rules or a neural network. And of course, the policy function content can be replaced by a neural network with the observation parameters as input and an action as output. So to wrap things up, reinforcement learning is a subfield of machine learning, parallel to but differing from supervised and unsupervised learning in several ways. Because it requires stimulated data and environment, it is harder to apply to practical business situations. However, its learning process is natural to sequential decision-making scenarios, making reinforcement learning technology undeniably promising. I have touched only the basics of reinforcement learning and if you want to know more about its principles and how that really works, just let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.